Hi everyone, it's Miss Salvatore here. And today we are going to talk about Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is coming up this year in 2021. Chinese New Year starts on February 12th. So let me tell you what our goal for today is. Today, we will learn about Chinese New Year and be able to recount or retell three facts about Chinese New Year. Three facts. So you'll be able to tell someone at home. Maybe you can tell one of your teachers. And then the next time you hear about Chinese New Year, you'll know what it is. So let's start at the beginning. What do we know about Chinese New Year? Think in your head. Maybe you read before about Chinese New Year. Maybe there was an assembly at your school. What do you know about Chinese New Year? If we were together face to face, I would be able to fill some of these in, but take a minute, think about it, pause the video, and you can write it in the chat, tell your teacher, write it down. What do you know about Chinese New Year? Okay, maybe you took a minute to think about it. I want to share some things that I remember hearing that students would tell me what they know about Chinese New Year. Let's see if you said some of the same things. So it's a celebration. It's a very big celebration. And if you don't know what or why, we're going to find out today, but it is a very big celebration for many of the people in the Chinese culture. Hmm, good luck. People think about the word good luck. Hmm. It's a holiday and the color red. I'm wearing red. Red is supposed to be good luck and a symbol of Chinese New Year. This is going to be a two part lesson. Really quickly, anything that you know about Chinese New Year. And then like we said in our objective today, by the end of this lesson, we are going to be able to retell and recount three facts about Chinese New Year. And then the second video for this is a read aloud of a story about Chinese New Year. So if you don't know any facts about Chinese New Year, let's learn some right now. Okay. Chinese New Year. Okay, so in February, Chinese people celebrate what we call Chinese New Year. This is a centuries old holiday. It's a tradition. It has many different traditions and many rituals. Some also call it Lunar New Year or the Spring Festival, okay? The Chinese New Year is based on the lunar calendar, okay? And also in China, Chinese New Year is a celebration and also called the Spring Festival because it's a way to celebrate that spring is beginning, their winter is ending, and spring is starting. We can talk about the different legends, but let me fast forward for a second. The festival lasts for 15 days. Now I currently still teach a lot of students that live in China over the computer. I help teach them English. And during this time, just like when we have a winter break and some of us celebrate Christmas, they have a break from school as well. Now, usually a lot of families travel all over China to be together because this is their biggest celebration that they celebrate in the Chinese culture. And it's very family oriented. 
So if people live in different parts of China and the Chinese New Year is a, a time when all of those family members usually come together and celebrate the arrival of the spring of the new year coming for them. There are some things that are very big in the traditions and customs during Chinese New Year. I'm gonna let you watch a video in a moment. But the first one is cleaning. Okay, we're gonna talk about these. Next is the decorations the food, family gatherings, the traditional feast, what do they eat? Red envelopes. And some of you mentioned red at the beginning and the lantern festival. So what are these things? Cleaning, the homes are clean top to bottom. They become so clean because they believe that it's good luck to have a clean house and to get rid of all of the bad luck from the previous year, okay? So everybody in the family in the house gets together and they clean, okay? And after the new year comes, you cannot sweep during the first days. Otherwise, they say you are sweeping your good new luck away. So it is very important that they clean and get rid of all of the bad luck that started to pile up, okay, in 2020. So they're welcoming a new year, 2021, Thank you, thinking about our new year, and they want a fresh start. Get all of the old away, and bring good luck and new. Decorations. Okay, you'll see it's set up a lot like here in America when we have a lot of festive, maybe Christmas decorations or Hanukkah decorations. You'll see the streets, the shops, the airports, the train stations, people's homes, people's offices are decorated with Chinese New Year decorations. The colors that usually go along with Chinese New Year is red and a lot of gold. You'll also see a lot of lanterns and flowers welcoming the arrival of the most important festival of the year. Hmm. So what are some ornaments that you might see for the spring festival? Let's take a look. These are the lanterns, and as you can see, they are red and gold. Bright red lanterns are the most popular decorations. And if we were in my classroom and we were live in person each year, I usually, I have paper and plastic lanterns that I hang up um, on the ceiling um, of my classroom and I have them hang around this time to celebrate Chinese New Year. The red Chinese lantern has become the symbol of Chinese culture and for the Chinese it represents vitality and prosperity. So that is the symbol behind that. You also see a lot of banners and scrolls with New Year's greetings. Again, they are red and gold. You'll see a lot of good luck messages, warm wishes for the new year. And remember, the red symbolizes the vitality and importance of life, how important it is for all of us to be happy. And the gold represents wealth and prosperity, not just money wealth. We're talking about wealth and prosperity with the relationships, with our families. You'll also see a lot of Chinese knots. These were also things that I would have hanging from my ceiling in my classroom. Chinese knots are hung during the holidays or given as good luck charms to your loved ones. They protect from any evil spirits, okay? 
they're a sign of endless life or longevity. Ooh, this is a good one. Now, some of my students before have been able to bring in some of these coins to show me. The ancient Chinese coins are associated with wealth and prosperity. You usually see the ancient coin, that means old, with the square hole in the middle used as decorative tokens. Also popular are these charms here with red string. All of it again is to remind people and to bring good luck and wealth. All right, this is what could be on the Chinese gold ingot. These boat shaped are like ornaments and in the middle, okay, you can see in this picture here, you'll see the Chinese writing here. They were typically made of silver or gold and it's used in money in ancient China. Again, it's gold to represent the wealth and prosperity. Hmm. Well, I don't know about you, but when I'm celebrating a big holiday at my house, food is usually a big part of that holiday. And it's not something that can be done in one night. So think about some of the holidays and celebrations that you might have with your families and how much work goes into the feast or the food. The food has to be prepared ahead of time for the Chinese New Year. Food is very important to the Chinese people. This is a time of abundance, lots of food to signify prosperity for the coming year, okay? Again, that wealth in the relationship and a wealth of food and things to make our bodies healthy and strong. Many dinners are held with family and there will be lots of visiting relatives and friends, usually. Now, this is a different year, um, so, we will be seeing, I guess, on the news, and I'll be hearing from some of my students who would, who will share with you what they are doing because of the times that we are in. But usually this is a big gathering of family, friends, again, to bring good luck, prosperity, health, and happiness. So what needs to be prepared for these feasts and this dinner? Let me go ahead and share my screen again. Here are some popular dishes that are traditionally present. That means that is usually eaten and served for Chinese New Year. So I'm gonna stop for a minute. Everybody go ahead and take a look at the picture and see if you can name some of the foods that they eat. Dumplings. Dumplings are very big for Chinese New Year and they represent prosperity. Noodles. Noodles represent long life. So if you're thinking about if you eat spaghetti, think about how long those noodles are when they're cooked. Well, those noodles are representing a long life. Oranges and tangerines, they symbolize good luck and their bright color looks like gold. A candy tray. A candy tray, there's usually eight different kinds of dried sweet fruit. The candy comes in shiny red and gold wrappers. Some of you maybe you've seen like a golden coin chocolate that we have here in the United States that we usually give out um, for a winter holiday um, or sometimes maybe around Easter. Chocolate coins. Um, individually wrapped gummy candies in flavors like leche or mango. Live plants and vases of fresh flowers. So usually uh, there's an abundance of flowers 
and plants because again, it's welcoming the spring and the flowers that are starting to arrive and bloom to signal spring is here and winter is gone. It marks the end of the winter season and the beginning of spring. Plants are more than a decoration. They are a symbol of, of good fortune, wealth, and prosperity. And a flower that blooms on New Year's Day is particularly lucky. So here are some of the plants and flowers that we see for Chinese New Year. These are some of the most popular ones. You'll see mandarin and orange trees, kumquat, bamboo, or branches of cherry or plum blossoms. And again, we said that family gatherings are super important and a big part of the celebration for Chinese New Year. It's really that time of year to gather with your family and welcome the new year. So this holiday can be compared to some holidays you might celebrate with your families, maybe Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, um, Ramadan, any of those that is a big gathering with family and you're welcoming the new fresh start that is something comparable to the Chinese New Year. And this is just a, a picture as you can see. Look at the feast, look at the family's gathering. There's a lot of red, okay? And a lot of happiness. Ooh, the red envelopes, this is so fun. So usually again, if we were live during um, Chinese New Year, I order these and I can't put money in it for all of the students, but I usually do put a little treat in there and give them out. Um, but in China and those that celebrate Chinese New Year, they may get a red envelope. Usually there is money inside all right, but this is so exciting to open and one of the favorite traditions that many of my students tell me about for Chinese New Year. They love getting the red envelopes and opening them and seeing what's inside. Firecrackers are set off just like sometimes when we here in the United States celebrate New Year's Eve, you'll hear fireworks and firecrackers they're made of shiny red paper hanging pieces and they'll put them over windows, over door entrances, any walls, and they are lit in front of houses and stores. And it's said to keep the evil away, okay? And it's supposed to symbolize scaring the spirits or the bad away with the loud cracking noises. So if you ever hear those fireworks and firecrackers, they are very loud, okay? And then the Lantern Festival marks the end of the Chinese New Year, fest New Year festivities. There's a lot of people, it's a big parade. There's a lot of music, drums, and then there is a lion dance. And again, if we were together in my past years, Working with my students, we usually see a lion dance live at an assembly, but in the video I sh will show you, you'll be able to see what a lion dance looks like. And the children carry their lanterns around the village and then the families come together and they eat sweet uh, rice balls, again, for good fortune and to bring that family together and build unity. So here are some stilt walkers in the parade. There's a lot of acrobatics, people doing flips and um, tricks. There's beautiful, beautiful floats that you'll see. Again, usually lit uh, in red and gold. You'll see a lot of lanterns, beautiful. And it takes a lot of time for those floats to be designed. There's a lot of music, a lot of drums. And what colors do you see here? Red and gold. And then at the end, 
they all have their lantern and they are allowed to let it up and it's really a beautiful thing to see. The lion dance brings good luck and it scares away those evil spirits. It's actually, if you've ever seen it, as long and big as the lion costume looks, you would think that there's many or more bodies inside, but there are only two, one at the front and usually one at the back. And every Chinese New Year ends with the dragon dance. Again, it scares away the evil spirits and all the bad luck with them. The dragon dance is performed by a team of a dozen or so dancers who hold the dragon up by the poles. Okay. They, they raise and lower the dragon, making him dance. So it looks like, um, it looks like there's many people in the costume, but Many of them are doing tricks with it. And here's an example of the lion dance, maybe what it looks like. And the last thing I wanna to talk to you about the celebration of Chinese New Year is the fireworks. We have fireworks. So those loud noises, again, scare away those evil spirits. And it's just like here, if you're used to hearing or seeing fireworks on New Year's Eve in the United States on December 31st, it's kind of a way to leave the bad, bring in the good, say goodbye to the year and welcome the new year. So just like that. And those were just some sources. Now I wanna share a video. If we were together, I'd ask if there were any questions. That was a lot of information. So see if you can press save in your minds. Is there something that you can remember? Remember, we want to be able to retell three facts or recount three facts. So maybe what is Chinese New Year? What are some things that they eat? What are some things that they do? What is a symbol of good luck? What colors? All of those things are facts that you are will be able to retell. And let me share my screen with you. And we are going to watch a video so that you can see some of these things in action. All right, let's go ahead and share it. All right. Celebrating Chinese New Year with kids. Here we go. Traditional foods to eat during Chinese New Year. 
it is said that children who eat ear cake will grow tall in the coming year. So eat the new year cake. They clean and decorate their home, like we said. Clearing away the old stuff signifies the meaning of removing the old and bringing the new. And then we have our feast and the reunion dinner. They enjoy it with their family. The prosperity talk is also popular in Singapore, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Those are just some quick facts. And now I'm going to show you what the lion dance looks like. This is from 2020. This one, one was in Hong Kong. So let's take a look. dances that I would be happy to share with you. Let me come off of share. And again, this was just a brief introduction to see what you know about Chinese New Year. So let's end our lesson, our Chinese New Year lesson. Oops, sorry. What are some things that you can recount or retell about Chinese New Year? What did you learn? And I would be happy to write them here below. I learned that Chinese New Year is a celebration with lots of food and family. Okay, what did you learn? I learned about the symbols of the lanterns and that the colors 
gold and red are, or bring good luck. So we have two things and now I want you to go ahead and think of that third one. Be able to tell someone at home, someone at school, three things that you learned about Chinese New Year. And I'm going to come off of share. I hope that you enjoyed learning about some information about Chinese New Year. And to keep with the celebration, since Chinese New Year is coming up and we also have a long weekend, check out the other links included for a read aloud about Chinese New Year. I hope that everyone celebrating Chinese New Year has a great time. I hope that this year brings you health, prosperity, luck, happiness, and I hope that you are all safe and we can't wait to hear how you celebrated Chinese New Year this year. If you do celebrate, please, please, please um, email me. Um, if you're, if I'm in class, please tell me what, what did you do? I would love to hear how you celebrated when we come back from our long weekend. I hope you have a great, great week ahead, a great new year. Anything that you can share with us about you, your celebrations and your culture is so important to us here at school. So please continue to do that. And I will see you next time.